Okay, let's look at percentages and product labeling. This one says 100% protein and some other manufacturer has named the source elsewhere on the label. 100% protein soy, 100% protein whey or vegetable or whatever they name the source elsewhere, not necessarily, uh, ne not necessarily right next to the number 100%. And uh, some of the lab maker, makers on the label, they don't say 100% or anything, they just say whey protein. And, uh, and here is this one, it's not protein, but just work with me here. This one says 1.5% 1 1 So, is it low fat? Is it good? If you want 100% protein, because that's what you want to spend your money on then you want to make sure that it actually is 100% protein but that isn't the case this number here 100% it doesn't tell you 100% what it looks like 100% protein yeah the logical choice but not so hold up hold up here baby let me explain here you gotta read the label here look it on a label typically What's identified here is a serving size. Say on this one, 200 milliliters. And on this one, we've got a serving size of one scoop. Okay, I'll try to hold it so you can read it. 29.4 grams for one scoop. That's the serving size. Sorry. And on this one, you have a serving size of three scoops 45 grams okay so you have a serving size now what that serving size means 200 mils then uh, in that serving size you have three and a half grams of fat out of that 200 okay and uh, there's carbohydrate the sodium and cholesterol they are not energy containing Comp food components okay so just ignore those you're looking for fats carbs and proteins anything else is not an energy yielding component okay so you can see carbohydrates 21 grams so and proteins 7 grams so in this case 7 grams out of 200 is protein 7 out of 200 is the same as three and a half out of 100 if it's three and a half out of 100 then it's three and a half percent protein so that 1.5 mustn't be protein it's something else it says mf milk fat let's see milk fat milk fat here is fat three and a half three and a half out of 200 is the same as let me say half of three is 1.5 half of half is 0.25 so 1.5 plus 0.25 is 1.75 so this one is 1.75 grams is fat out of 100 out of 100 okay 1.75 yeah okay they rounded down maybe but it's gonna be different radically different on this one look at this label here 45 grams is the serving size out of 45 grams one gram is fat one out of 45 is uh, about half a percent so that's good so uh, next one is carbs that's three out of 45 that's about six percent because three out of 45 is kind of close to three out of 50 three out of 50 is about six percent okay no calculator just just work with the idea here and protein is 37 so if 37 grams out of 45 is protein then uh, here I did this one 37 out of 45 that's exactly 82 percent protein okay 37 out of 45 so that's instead of eight, eight, instead of 100 percent protein although this one doesn't claim to be 100 percent protein but now your 100 percent idea is down to 82 percent there same with this one 100% yeah 100% what okay where is that label here let's do the same thing on it so you have 29.4 grams how much protein is in it 23 
out of 29, 23 out of 29, this is my numbers, 23 out of 29.4 is 78% protein, okay? You enter it in your calculator, you'll see 78% protein. It's not 100% protein. By, if you're looking at the grams, you know, 23 out of 29, that's only 78% protein, okay? Now that's percentages by mass. All right, here with this yogurt thingy, they label this 1.5 that it's that it's a percentage that relates to milk fat. This 100% claim, this 100% claim means that it's one that the source is 100% whey with no peanut protein, no vegetable protein, no soy protein, no any other no egg protein, no any other, other protein source contaminating it. It's 100% protein, 100% uh, whey protein. But that doesn't mean that the box contains only protein. Okay. Now so you're only actually paying for 78% protein. The rest, of course, is carbs, there, three grams, and a little bit of fats. Now that's nice and dandy, so 78% is, is more realistic, but that's 78% by mass. But that's not what matters, because you're gonna be eating it, and its mass is not really relevant. What's important is how many calories are you eating actually? We know that a protein, one gram of protein is four calories, one gram of carbohydrate is four calories, and one gram of fat is nine calories. So we have 23 point, uh, sorry, we have 23 grams of protein, four calories each. That's going to be a number. And that's coming out of 118 calories because they claim that this 29.4 gram serving size is 118 calories. So, the calories given by the protein divided by the total calories per serving size gets you 77% of protein by the calories. And on this one here, it goes the same way. The 37 needs to be multiplied by 4. There it is, whatever that number is. You divide it by 170, because that's the total calories in that 45 gram serving size. If you do the math there, you're gonna end up with 87% calories. Sorry, 87% protein by calories. Uh, sometimes the percentage by calories is a little better than the percentage by mass. Sometimes it isn't. It went down here. So, watch out what you pay for, because the because uh, because this here is with 1.5 percent milk fat item here. It's uh, it's it's uh, milk fat, but it's not by calories. If you take that milk fat amount there, that three and a half gram, you multiply it by nine. It's about 32, 32 out of 140 is, uh, I don't know, about 30% uh, about, uh, of it is fat. So the 1.5% yogurt drink is about 30% fat. So just watch out for those numbers. Those percentages uh, don't tell you a whole lot what's on the labels because manufacturers opted for labeling in a way that will hide how much, how fattening the product is. And uh, yeah, watch out for those protein uh, percentages because uh, again, manufacturers opted for labeling in a way that hides what's inside the box, how much, how much sugar or carbohydrates, usually cheap sugars is what they dump into a box of protein and they sell it for a lot of money as if the whole box was protein. Just watch out.